What's going on guys? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our controller back into our Destroyer X. Now this uh, will work for our other bikes as well. You shouldn't need any tools, but you still wanna be uh, cautious. Um, sharp edges, and also this controller will store some electricity, so that's why we have uh, these two wires covered up. What we're gonna do with this wire is we're gonna add some electrical tank, or you can have some uh, heat shrink as well, whatever you have available but it's pretty easy. We're gonna go yellow wire, the yellow wire. You'll see we have a groove here. So that's gonna sit together one way. And then we're multicolored wire, All right? Again, look at the colors of the wire. We got white side, white side, red side, red side. We have our main wiring harness that comes down through here. All right, this is gonna be our multi-pin connection. All right, we have, there's our arrow, just like all our other connections. Arrow to arrow, like that. We got yellow to yellow, using our last wire again. So there's our notch, arrow to arrow. Now we're gonna leave this last wire uh, open for when we do our battery install. Now, the way that this came out is the same way we're gonna go in. So we're gonna have thin sides towards the opposite side of the bike. Uh, get this back end in and then tilt it up. And we're just going to leave it just like that until we go for our battery install. Lastly, we're just going to take our electrical tape or our heat train. All right, we'll just cover this connection. This is an added layer of protection. Make sure all these wires, nothing's bound up, and anything that can go into the grommet, we're going to go ahead and feed into the grommet just to, to protect it. We're good to go.